it's the crypto lights here back with another video guys and i thought compelled to make this video different kind of video we are going to talk about crypto we're also going to talk about uh market sentiment we're going to talk about uh christmas time and emotions right guys because emotions are running high right now especially with everything that's going on in the market i uh, recently saw a video from chico crypto a very moving video which i didn't expect where he was talking about mental health and how it's affecting him, uh, his depression, what he's going through and things like that, really making himself vulnerable, putting him, putting himself out there. All right, guys, as a male, sometimes it's not easy to do that sort of thing. Uh, so fair play for him. I hope he recovers from that. I hope, um, you know, he can, uh, you know, um, find uh, peace, you know, um, um, in, in whatever he's doing. And hopefully he can take a break and come back from that even stronger. But, um, yeah, there's a few things that I want to talk about uh, because, uh, yeah, I just felt the need to talk about it. All right, guys, I also saw a video from Cheeky Crypto who, you know, um, you know, deserve a little bit more uh, recognition for their channel as well. It's one, one channel that I watch and, um, you know, they touched on trolling in the comments and things like that. Crypto Banter also touched on that today. All right, guys, and that's something that I go through as well. I've been through, I've, I've suffered racism on the channel. Um, uh, lots of trolls, uh, you know, I get called a liar for some things. You know, uh, people, you know, really act like they know you when all they see is sort of like 10 to 15, maybe 20 minutes of a video. There's a lot of people with a lot of opinions. And, um, <laughs> you know, as an influencer or a crypto influencer, at least, you're not trained. To deal with that sort of thing right guys we're not you know celebrities like tom cruise or keanu reeves for example that have been around for a long time and have people to help them deal with um uh, uh, social media and influence all right guys and um, this is something that you know you go through it and it kind of makes you it kind of wakes you up to you know the toxicity that uh, some people that are in the public eye have to endure Okay, guys, so, you know, me being an influencer, uh, I haven't, I'm not, you know, that's that's just one side to me, all right? Being an influencer, crypto lightsaber or whatever, that's just one side to me. I am a human being. I have a family, you know, I've been, um, uh, you know, um, recently sick. Right, guys, me and my wife actually had COVID. Right, guys, but still trying to put content out. Uh, my mother's been sick in a hospital still trying to put content out all right guys so people go through real things and this is the christmas time where people are going through real things so really um you know um yeah was moved by chico crypto's video and i thought i'd make a video and address some things okay guys so outside of crypto i have a background in social services and i've worked with a lot of young people and i always notice around christmas time is young people that um you know went into care and stuff like that around christmas time emotions were always running high incidents were high um you know it's like people going crazy around christmas time every single year right guys so i know that you know this time of year kind of triggers people's emotions especially when it comes to family another area would be finances and uh, obviously when it comes to crypto and people people's portfolios are taking a bit of hit when they had expectations or goals that they were planning to reach i know i myself had a certain goal uh, that i was trying to reach by end of the year which has been thrown out the window now uh, because of everything that's going on like nobody could have known that we were going to see um uh, uh, this virus that's hit our, our world nobody could have known that um there was going to be a new variant <laughs> um in the in the in the, in the past month nobody could have known what was going on in the traditional stock markets with evergrande or whatever okay guys you can't predict these things okay so uh, when people are trying to figure out the market and they've got price expectations and you know chart history and all that sort of stuff world events can kind of throw those things out of the window so um you know uh, what you'll find is uh when these things happen uh, with you being an ill or myself for example being an influencer people look for somebody to blame um when you know uh, people's goals are not achieved or reached as they were expecting to people get emotional 
and they like to take their emotions out on somebody sometimes all right guys and you'll find in the crypto space you get a lot of people you get a lot of young people all right guys who are not necessarily mature enough or experienced enough to handle their emotions and um what you'll find is uh uh with young people especially in schools and all that sort of stuff uh, there's a thing called cyber bullying okay guys not just with young people but i'm using young people as an example because um uh, predominantly um you do see a lot of tragedies around that around you know a young age when it comes to cyber bullying and people that don't understand how to um deal with emotional abuse or trolling for example okay guys so i think it's time for people to wake up and start you know thinking about what they're doing behind a computer thinking about what you're doing with crypto you know if you're expecting you know that every video you watch to get um to get uh, it right for example you know um you're gonna have to change that expectation because things can happen that's why we also say it's not financial advice i don't risk more than what you can afford to lose because at the end of the day you have to understand a lot of times if an influencer is talking about a certain token or coin right they're more likely going to be investing in it a lot a lot of the time most of the time like I, everything that i talk about or 90 at least 90 95 percent of what i talk about i'm invested in and i'm basically a member of that community who's making content to try to raise awareness of the investments that i'm making i'm, I'm doing my part for the community all right guys anybody that is invested in a token any form of cryptocurrency uh you can play your part for your uh, investment and try to raise awareness and get more people to uh, invest in the same uh, projects because that's going to help your investment right guys so those people that come in the comments for example on my channel and say this guy's just shilling his own backs i mean that's the, those are some of the dumbest comments i've ever heard you know because i mean whose bag should i shill should i shill somebody else's bags you know should i should i only talk about tokens that i'm not investing doesn't make any sense all right guys i'm, I'm going to talk about tokens that i am invested in all right and, and that way at least you know i'm putting my money where my mouth is all right so yeah it doesn't make sense some of the things that, that people say you know uh, i've had racism on the channel where people have gone after the color of my skin you know um i've been called all sorts all right guys and you know i found myself at times arguing with people in the comments a lot of the time i delete i just delete all right guys i delete or i mute but i have notifications right so when you leave a comment on the channel i get a notification of that comment and the reason i get a notification is because i have notifications switched on not because i want to see every comment that comes through but there's people that i watch you know that i follow you know i'm just a regular guy who also watches crypto videos in fact if it wasn't for me watching crypto videos i probably would have never been inspired to make videos about cryptocurrency and start a youtube channel okay so you know i have my notifications on and that way if let's just use chico crypto as an example chico crypto drops a video i'll get a notification and i can watch that video rather than you know if 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 uh if i'm not subscribed or i'm not um got the little bell ticked then you know i might not see that video for three days or three weeks and then you know a potential opportunity that i could have invested in early i may have missed it by two three weeks right guys and the market might have left me behind so of course you know it's wise having your notifications turned on so i leave my notifications turned on but not only that i am an influencer and i have people leaving comments where sometimes i need to respond sometimes someone might have a question that they might need help with and so on about a particular token or video that i've done okay guys so you know this exposes me to have to pay attention sometimes to some of the horrible things that people say and i try not to respond to them and get into beef over the you know in the comment section where every now and again i fail uh, i fail and i end up engaging with somebody who doesn't have anything positive to say and you know sometimes i just have to kind of answer a fool in their folly um you know uh, and that's going from from a scripture that you know um i i read in the bible okay guys but yeah i mean i think people need to raise their awareness and um 
kind of understand that you know the markets are something that can be very emotional some people are just bad mind they're just horrible people that don't have anything better to do anyway and um yeah another thing you know people that you know it's, it's almost like some people follow the channel just to dislike the video or some people um you know come on the channel just to leave negative comments and encourage people not to come on the channel no rather than just unsubscribing if you don't like the content that someone's making they like to stick around so that they can you know be a troll for as long as they can you know there, there's another group of idiots that need to kind of go and educate themselves and get out of the comment section you know go and get a life uh, sort yourself out but yeah the market the way the markets are right now is triggering a lot of emotions and um, people don't know what to do right people don't know whether to buy whether to sell uh, whether to hold you know <laughs> nobody knows what to do right now because uh, the chart history has taken a turn which nobody saw coming nobody expected this at this point you know so um, everyone could be out there saying this is what's going to happen with the market this is what's going to you know but you know if you're a trader you know anyone that's a real trader they go by probability what is the probability is it prob probable that Bitcoin will go up or go down. For example, using Bitcoin as an example, I don't hold any Bitcoin. You know, I invest in very low cap cryptocurrencies. And a lot of the time, I'm just sharing with you what I'm investing in, All right, guys. Um, so, you know, that's why you don't see any Bitcoin videos on the channel. Very rarely do I talk about Bitcoin on the channel. I'm the type of person that puts their money where their mouth is. And if I'm talking about something, I'm, you know, I'm um, talking about something that I'm actually invested in 90%, 95% of the time. Okay, so um, yeah, right now, I think the way the market is, it's, um, you know, it's one of them ones where it's almost like sometimes you have to allow, if you've, and, and what I'm saying is, um, you know, the market's had a big dip. So before we get onto that, the market's had a big dip. And if you have held for it, you know, um, I, I would never advise anyone. It's not financial advice or anything like that. But right now, probably not the time to sell. Um, you know, but that's just my opinion. Okay, guys. But what I would say is that, you know, in terms of it being the time to buy, um, you're getting better prices than what you were yesterday and the day before and last week. Right, guys. So, you know, the whole market is on a discount. Some people say they're waiting for a dip. And then when the dip comes, um, you know, they look at the fear and greed, uh, you look at the fear and greed index and you see, you know, there's so much fear in the market, but yet people are still not taking advantage of the dip. But what I would say is that sometimes you have to let the market leave you behind just a little bit and wait for those confirmations. All right, guys, I know what it's like in the crypto space. I know it's like, you know, um, you feel like you've missed out if the market pumps. You could have got in at a certain price or whatever. The market pumps. Now you feel like you've left. You've been left behind because the market's up ten percent, twenty percent. Okay, guys. Rather than looking at the bigger picture, you feel like you know what? Now it's too late for me. Sometimes you have to let the market make its move, and then you can you know make your decision to get into the market when it's safe, right, guys? So because some people some people have the huddle mentality where they don't want to sell at all. You know, I'm never selling. And all that sort of thing all right guys sometimes it makes sense to sell especially after a major pump it makes sense to sell and just hold off until the market confirms that it's still safe to be in the market when that happens or when you do that psychologically some people feel like they've lost out because now the market's gone up even higher and they could have made more now they're buying in at a higher price okay guys and you have to change you have to switch your psychological perspective on it and just say to yourself at the end of the day profit is profit the market's pumped you made a profit right and you're just you know protecting your capital right that's what the that's what the vcs do that's what the um you know the whales do all right guys oh well you know uh, in the traditional markets you know they protect their capital you know they, they don't feel any way to take profit obviously a lot of the time they're selling into a pump anyway because they're looking for exit liquidity so you know you sell into a pump you know, you don't necessarily buy into a dump. What you do is you buy the accumulation, you buy the fear. Okay, guys, so it's like, it's not about trying to catch a falling knife or anything. When you get an, a, a nice bounce 
and you get a stabilization in the market, that's when you can start to accumulate and, um, you know, look at the bigger picture and see, you know, where, where are we going in the longer term, All right, guys? Now, I think we have to kind of switch our time frames right now uh, just because of, and you probably heard this, you know, several times, but, you know, it does make sense at the end of the day. And everything I say, I've either heard somewhere, seen somewhere or read somewhere. Okay, guys, I'm not a genius or anything like that. But, um, yeah, right now, I think the time frames have to change. Uh, we can't expect a blow off top from Bitcoin and and the, the you know a crazy old season by the end of this year because we're looking at two weeks. You know, Bitcoin is not going to get to 150, 200k within the next two weeks. So time frames have changed. People are talking about you know a first quarter of 2022. Some people are talking about the first six months of 2022. Some people are talking about September 2022. Everyone's going to have their idea. Okay, guys. But I think uh, what we need to do is we need to prepare for a potentially uh, longer cycle. Okay, guys. And um, what this does is it provides a second chance for you to make serious gains. Because at the end of the day, the market has gone up a lot. But the longer it takes to perform the blow off top, uh, the more uh, time you're going to have prepared. Uh, you, the more time you're going to have to prepare. Uh, and and you know raise up capital to invest in the market okay um and the 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 higher this cycle can potentially go all right guys so i just wanted to put that out there not sure if i made any sense because i do tend to ramble on sometimes all right guys but you know uh with the way things are looking at them in the market and everyone's attitude you know the way people are reacting to the market right now i thought it uh might be beneficial to make this video um, you know, there's not really much else for me to talk about at the moment in terms of the charts and, you know, meme coins and all that sort of stuff because there's so much fear. All right, guys, until we see a, see a turnaround, you know, uh, you know, it's not like I can, you know, do a chart. It doesn't make sense to do a charting video and just do what everyone else is doing. Um, I will say is that I did put a tweet out uh, yesterday um, talking about the markets and today so go and follow me on twitter link is in the description also join me in the telegram uh, the, the lightsaber chat group link is in the description people are still posting all types of coins and so on down there but um i did say that normally when the market starts green it ends red and when the market starts red it ends green so i do expect at least a short-term bounce at least you know uh, midweek this week a little market turnaround uh, because you know the market is completely oversold uh, well a lot of a lot of things are completely oversold right now if you look at the rsis on a lot of tokens for example um i am expecting some sort of a bounce do i expect to um hold or huddle uh, the position the very few positions that i do have i'm not going to be huddling through those bands in fact i have been buying i was buying over the last couple of days um and i'm looking for a short-term bounce um, out of this market um, and yeah I'll probably be looking to play it safe kind of you know scale out some profits and wait to let the market make its move so that then I can really be confident in the positions that I get into and I can ride those okay guys um, that being said uh, so end of the video all right guys I just wanted to make that video um, I hope you like it uh, let me know what you think in the description no trolls, just people with positivity. All right, guys. And remember, Christmas time is actually, uh, you know, to uh, celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. All right, guys. That's the original meaning of, of uh, why we celebrate Christmas, at least here in the UK. We remember the birth of my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And, um, yeah, I mean, a lot of people talk about the baby, Jesus the baby, but they don't talk about the man. Um, everything that he came for to die for people's sins and so on all right guys so i do encourage you to get to know what you know christmas is all about you know because it's turned into a thing where in america they're not even allowed to say merry christmas anymore for example they have to say happy holidays or at least i heard that once before and um, we're losing the true meaning of christmas and of course you know spend some time with your families um you know buy gifts for whoever you're going to buy gifts for your kids and whatnot all right, guys, make sure you enjoy yourself. Maybe take your mind off crypto a little bit and enjoy, you know, the season 
okay guys so yeah i just wanted to uh, leave you with that message okay guys so yeah make sure you like and comment um yeah subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you in the next video